Hey everyone, it's Nancy and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to kick it a little old school with a classic what's in my bag video. So when I asked you guys on Instagram what videos you guys want to see next on my channel, a what's in my handbag video came up. So here I am filming it. This is definitely kicking it old school because I have not filmed one of these in forever and I absolutely love watching them. I always feel like I'm super nosy like ooh, what does this person have in their bag? So I hope you guys feel the same way. It's nothing too crazy but I want to show you guys the bag I've been using. So this is the bag that I've been using for the majority of the year ever since I got it for my birthday back in March. This is a gift from my brother and sister-in-law. This is a Madewell um, medium transport tote and it looks like this and this is the drawstring version of the tote. So you can see that you can cinch in the sides and kind of make it look, let me cinch it in, and make it look like a bucket bag. I absolutely love bucket bags. So you can have it looking like this too. It has a top handle strap and also a long crossbody strap, which I absolutely love. So I've been wearing it kind of like, um, just kind of open like this and letting letting it hang off to the side. So it's a really nice tote. And then inside it has just one pocket. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see it. So it just has one zippered pocket right here. And then it's just an open tote. So I brought this bag along with me when John and I went to Japan earlier this year and it was awesome. I got to fit so much stuff in here and it held up really well. And this is my first bag by Madewell that I've owned and it feels so nice. I love the texture of the leather and everything is holding up really well because I definitely have stuffed this bag. So let's dive into the bag. All right, I'm just gonna pull stuff out and we'll see what we can find. First item, I have a water bottle. This is by Swell. And I got this from my cousin actually as a gift when she asked me to be one of her bridesmaids. Super sweet and I love that this is a smaller version so it's really handy. Next I have my wallet and I've just been carrying like a really small tiny wallet with me. I used to carry like giant wallets. I don't know if you guys did too but then I've started condensing more and more when uh, bags start getting a little smaller and I just didn't like carry so much and it's just really handy to have. So have all my essential, my cards, you know, credit card, my driver's license and then it has like a little open pocket here where you know you could fit a little bit more stuff. And this one is by Henry Bendel and I got this years ago. So next we have some sunglasses. I wear sunglasses when I'm wearing contacts and these are my favorite. They're my, they're by Ray-Ban and they look like this. I'm sure you guys have seen these before and they're just the classic round shape and I forget the number but this is like the biggest size they have because they have one smaller but it just doesn't quite fit my face um shape so I went for like the biggest one I'll link it all down below in case you guys are wondering but I love these one funny thing about wearing these is that since they're polarized and they're so dark when I wear them when I use my iPhone 10 the face detection thing doesn't work because these are so strong so just, just a little heads up in case you guys are wondering why your phone isn't reading your face if you're wearing these. But yeah, random side note. And then next we have my car keys. And then we have a random pen. You never know when you need a pen to write stuff. We have a bunch of napkins that I've collected. You know, Starbucks napkins, Chick-fil-A, you know, gotta have them. And then I have my makeup bag that is in here. I got this makeup bag from Target a while ago. And let's do like a what's in my makeup bag inside of a what's in my bag video. It's like an inception video. I don't even know where I'm going with that. But it's filled to the brim of a lot like hand lotion. I have this essential oil by Sage. It's their peppermint halo. I've talked about this before in a video. But I love this when I have like a headache or I'm just not feeling well. You could just... You know, put a little bit of oil there and you'll be good to go. Contact solution, eye drops, Advil. I have some Tums. You never know when you get a tummy ache. And then what else do I have? I have some lipstick in here. I have a bunch of lipstick in here. This one is Chai by um, Bite. I love this one. And then what else do I have? Time of the month, you know. You gotta never be prepared to get some pads, some tampons, it's real life. And then what else do we have? More lipstick fun stuff. I have stuff from Fenty Beauty. Let's see what this color is for fun. Let's see here. 
Ooh, so pretty. Love this one. So yeah, I just have a lot of lipsticks. This is where I've been keeping them and feeling like a hoarder. It's just been all in here. You never know when you need them. So that is my makeup bag that I oops, that I carry with me everywhere. It has like all my essentials in here. And then what else do I have? And then I have a hair tie. Always finding hair ties and bobby pins on like the bottom of the bag. Let me know if that's where your bobby pins disappear to as well. And then I have my tripod. This is my Manfrotto handheld tripod thing that I use when I'm vlogging. And the camera that I normally use is the one I'm vlogging with using right now. It's the Canon G7X Mark II and I love this camera. So usually I have this, use this tripod with that and I'm like vlogging. And it's so handy because, you know, it's small and portable and it goes out like that for a tripod and when you press this button right here it like swivels if you can see and it's just really easy to use when vlogging and it makes the camera motion so much smoother because I have crazy shaky hands so good thing the camera has good image stabilization but I have this too in case I ever need it and of course I have my phone, I have an uh, iPhone 10. John and I upgraded to this phone before we went to Japan. We had no idea we were gonna even upgrade our phones, but they got us with the deal. Plus we switched our phone plan to T-Mobile for free international um, internet roaming when we were traveling, so that was handy. And my phone case, I absolutely love this phone case. It's by Otterbox and this has Disneyland behind it with the castle and there's Dumbo. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is one of my favorites. And I picked this up at the park um, and they have a whole bunch and I love it. It makes me so happy. And this is a pretty good Otterbox case. It's like really thin, but really sturdy. And around the rim of it, the, uh, it has like a nice grip. So I get really paranoid about dropping my phone. So this is really good and I love this. And my home screen, lock screen, is a picture of us when we were in Japan. So that's everything in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this quick what's in my bag video. It was so fun to film. I'm always so nosy about what people are carrying in their bags. Definitely don't carry as much as I used to, but just the essentials. So yeah, I absolutely love this tote. If you guys are considering looking for a new tote bag to use and just something that's like a happy medium between a tote and a bucket bag, this is great. Love the top handle and I love, love, love the crossbody strap. I find myself using this way more than just like carrying bags um, with the top handle like this. So always love the crossbody strap. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I make new videos every single week to help you live happily and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye!